Hey, and welcome back to another exciting episode of This and That with Chris. Finally back in the garden. Today is May the 17th, I believe, and I think I'm going to plant my garden. It's been nice out, the weather's been good. Unfortunately, Harold's going to have to sit this one out. You can see he's in the window there. Turns out he uh, went out last Thursday and he came home with a big uh, chunk missing out of him. Apparently he got bit by another animal of some kind and he had to go to the vet twice and he's got some pretty pretty big holes in his body so he's an indoor kitty for now so he's gonna watch us plant the garden and it'll be the first time ever he's always out every year but not this year anyway strawberries give you a quick boo at those before we get started these are my three-year-old strawberries that I started here and a lot of them are popping up as you can see they're not popping up but they're getting green starting to grow and those are Trisha's one-year-old white pine berries which are a white strawberry and not really much sign of growth yet so they're either slower moving or they didn't survive the winter only time will tell us that for sure so we're just gonna leave them alone and kind of see what happens I myself think I might end up having to put some uh, something else in there this year but we'll see anyway the garden I'm going to be planting spinach lettuce turnips carrots cucumbers beans radishes Probably other things that I'll forget to mention and you'll just have to see as we go. I picked up some compost, four bags. That's the bags you see on the left there, the larger ones. It's uh, farm compost, so it should be good. And I usually end up just putting that amongst the rows of where I plant my uh, rows of vegetables and it's worked for me good, so I'm gonna do that again. And I also got some sheet manure just to kinda I usually end up putting a whole load of sheep manure in the garden, but this year the place where I, or the farm, where I usually get the sheep manure is under quarantine. Something to do with their sheep. And I can't get it. So I just got a few bags. We'll just kind of put it amongst the rows and hopefully that works. So anyway, I'll let you guys all follow along as I proceed to plant the garden today. And uh, any questions, comments, anything like that, let me know. This is my in-town garden. I do have a big garden out at uh, Franz Acreage. As you can see in my previous videos from last year's gardening season, I planted a pretty big garden out there and it turned out pretty good. So this year I think we're probably going to do that again. Uh, mostly potatoes, onions and those kind of things. Squash, that's what I plant out at the big garden. The lettuce and the finicky things that we use here every day on the table, I usually just keep it in town and it grows pretty good here. Fill in some of these holes. When are you going to do your acreage garden? Ah. Uh, Acreage garden? I don't know. I just, I figured I'd try to worry about the town one. Once it's all good, if I still have time, I'll go out and do the acreage garden. Sheep manure and compost. Alright, I got my first row all prepped up and we're gonna plant some romaine lettuce. Hopefully it grows. Is that the variety you've done before? I have never done this variety of romaine lettuce before. I've grown many other types of romaine lettuce, but this exact one I have not. Hmm. Today's the first. Sure it'll be delish. Now I'm gonna do a spinach. It's called the T hybrid. It's supposed to have a heavy yield. Ah. Okay. So we'll try it out. It says it's a unique hybrid, was developed especially for home gardeners. It produces deep green, thick, slightly crinkled leaves and is notably disease free. It grows quickly, thrives in cool weather and produces generous harvests of tasty tender leaves and spinach. Used in fresh salads, cooked or blanched. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. How many rows are you doing of one of lettuce, one of spinach? Yeah, probably. Maybe I'll do two spinach. Gardening season again, eh? Didn't get much of an ice fishing season. 
sure didn't this year. Too warm. Yeah. Too warm and too busy. What's the next row? Onions, I think, up in that. Thought you were doing onions out at the acreage. Oh, I always do some in town, too. Just for eating? Yeah. Onions, white onions. Did we not grow enough last year, or did they go bad? No, we didn't grow enough. Hmm. Oh, that one's, that one's already. Yeah. Doing good, isn't it? Doing some Swiss chard now. Rainbow? Rainbow Swiss chard. Did it grow good last year? Yeah, Swiss chard goes, grows great here. Plus it's good for your iron deficiency. Right. Mm -hmm. Very high. A couple more and then we'll have to wait a bit and bring the tomatoes out in a couple weeks. Oh yeah. We'll have this area and we still got that area over there. Are these the purple top? Yep. They sure are. Green beans, bush. I always go with the bush variety. They're a nice big bean. And they grow really good in this area. Ooh. Cucumbers, the Market Moor 76 variety from Early's Feed and Seed. When are you gonna put your plants out from the house? Oh, not for another couple weeks. We had frost two nights ago. How low did it get? Minus two or something. There was quite a bit of frost on the on everything. All done with the garden here for now. Uh, not completely done, but I got my uh, main stuff in. Lettuce, spinach, carrots, turnip, beans, Swiss chard, and over here I got a little cucumber pack. Uh, I got this area left, which I'll probably put my cabbage, maybe my melons, and over here we'll probably go with some cucumber melons, and then I got all my tomatoes yet to put somewhere, so they'll probably go there, and then I got some other random things in the house. Also got some more strawberries in the house to freshen up the strawberry bed, and yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens. I got some corn, I might put it along the back of the fence, maybe, maybe not, but for today that's it. I'm gonna set up a hose, give this a little drink, and and uh, that's it. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully uh, my next video shows something popping up here. Hopefully my onions because there's a couple that were pretty well sprouted and they might be popped up in a day or two. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you want to see any of my other gardens from the past years you can check out my other gardening video. I got a whole playlist and if you have any comments, questions, concerns, advice, information, garden chat, any other topics, comments below. Thanks for watching. It's officially spring, you're watering your...